Hey everybody, it's BC here and welcome to another episode of Astral Colony. And I've just been out and about looking around for trying to find some other resources. Uh, one of the things I want to try to find is carbon. Uh, I don't actually have much carbon around here. Uh, so I want to start building some uh, off-station mining setups. going to go with a different route than I was trying to do. I'm just basically going to uh, dump a whole bunch of uh, tier 2 miners, which are... Um, where are they here? These ones here, they're pretty big, but we need aluminum. I do have aluminum, but just not much. Uh, I have looked around for carbon. I haven't really been finding too much. I just actually came back from uh, this one over here. I don't know if it's going to show up on the map or not, but it does have quite a bit of carbon. Uh, where is it here? This one here. As you can see. That wasn't it. I was just out there. There was something that was supposed to be on there. Uh, yeah, no, that's, re that's reading wrong. There was actually something out there with a whole bunch of stuff, and I uh, had marked it. But anyways, uh, I want to get, like I said, I want to get some off-station uh, mining going, just because there's nothing around here, and I got carbon. I also want to sort of redesign this whole setup. I want to get start off with like a mass smelting area, and then into uh, mass processing and all that stuff, but what I do need to do is uh, actually need to make some aluminum plates. So uh, let me get those ready and I'll be right back. Okay, I should have some plates finished pretty quick here. Uh, the reason why this isn't the place is because it was actually a different one out in this area. And I think it might actually been that one. Uh, no, it had, uh, had a different name. It was just outside the influence I got here. And I think it was like over in this direction here. But anyways, uh, let's see what we have for plates. Uh, they won't be in there. They'll be in here. Uh, no, they won't because... Because you're taking a very long time. Very long time. Alright, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I got still got plates on the go. Uh, unfortunately, these miners cost six plates each. So, uh, I'm going to have to get some aluminum processing. I did manage to pick up some from... Uh, the other site over there, I dropped the new miner down. I'll go back and check that out in a minute. But I think maybe I'm gonna get, I wanna set something up to mass produce plates if I need to. You know, someone's got a whole bunch of smelters and stuff like that. So uh, let me lay something out and I'll bring you right back. Okay, well, this is gonna be really basic. I probably didn't have to go off camera to do this. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to uh, do it in multiple stages, or not stages. Uh, gonna do them two levels, but first we're gonna go ahead and make a blueprint of this, and I believe it was B. Yes. Okay, we're gonna add this, and then we'll go ahead and probably should start renaming these things, and then we're gonna go ahead and just copy and paste, or right, paste and paste and paste, and I think. I don't know if that's gonna pull or not. Because I have that conveyor going that way. Should be okay. So we'll do that. Actually, we'll not do that. I placed it in the wrong spot. Uh, you get the idea. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try to build multiple levels. I'm going to build a second level on top. I uh, have a floor, another three of these on top. And then I'm going to be using... Instead of using the, these con those containers, which I don't have any here. Yeah, I got one there, one, one there. I'm going to start using these just because it's got more more ports on it. So let me finish this up and clean it up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what I've got. Uh, originally, I was going to go with six, but I said I might as well go with eight just because. So uh, sort of the idea. I also didn't know that these were actually colorable. Uh, that's the wrong button, always. I'm uh, going to walls here. Going ball, and I saw these, and I was like, "Well, that's kind of an odd color, same with these." But I didn't notice the dot in the bottom when I went to go use it. I didn't notice that you can actually change the color of it. So that is quite interesting. Um, I think there was uh, some other things you can modify. Like I think, no, you can't duplicate this. I actually had to duplicate this one. I guess anything you can duplicate, then you can actually modify the color. Uh, don't want to go through all that, but anyways, uh, I decided to try to get like a warehouse shelving look. So went with uh, orange risers and supports across, and then sort of like a grating on the floor. Uh, I have not hooked up to, hooked, hooked, hooked this up to the power yet, but I do believe I should have enough to uh, support it. I think I'm actually going to be about 
about 90% efficiency. So all I gotta do is, where are we gonna run this to? Let's connect it to here. Just like that. And we are connected. All right, let's see how much of a drain this is doing. Uh, let's see here. 95%, not bad. All right, now to give this test. So yeah, I've got the warehouse at both ends. Uh, of course, that's gonna be easily accessible. Uh, what I do wanna do is go down, not down there. Where was your aluminum? The aluminum was over there. Where is my ship? There it is. All right, let's head off, off to here. And see what we got. And I've been trying to think about what kind of a building style I want to go with. Originally, I was starting to think, well, I kind of like the idea of having things snaking up with conveyors up a tower to different levels and all that stuff. But, you know, the vast, long assembly lines is always good as well. So let's see what we got in here. Uh, like I said, I put, put this down. I don't know what it's picked up. I hope I had enough carbon in it. Or, yeah, carbon. Oh, it looks like we got about 300. Take the stone just because there's nothing there and nothing in there. Oh wow, a lot in there. You're out of fuel. That's fine. We have aluminum, and I believe we have enough to get some mine rigs down. But let's actually check out this uh, this thing I made. See if it actually makes any any difference. Of course, it's just gonna be like bulk processing. I do want to have everything sort of. Passively going, you know, get these off site, off station mining set setups going. And basically, I want to get to the point where I can just dump like a couple thousand iron into a, a box and it gets processed into everything that can be made out of iron. Anyway, uh, let's go check this out. Uh, I believe this is the input. It is. Alright. I do have to get some rods going too so I can start, ma start making more of these conveyors. Oh, oh, I forgot splitters, hang on, I knew I forgot something, logic blocks, there we go, alright, splitter there, and, let's see, you're coming out, huh, splitter there, and I have to ro rotate you, Okay, fixing all the bugs, and what's going on here, aha, conveyor going the wrong way, and same with this one, oh, and I do have to get a few more, few more splitters, this is actually the next day for me, so I actually forgot what I was doing, There we go. And all eight are running. Good. Now I gotta make sure that everything actually goes in here. And that's the problem with blueprinting things. Is you make a mistake on one, you make a mistake on all of them. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, well, you're not making it. 14 already. Awesome. Alright, so now let's go ahead and make a, uh, get a mining rig set up. Let's actually go into the blueprint manager for this. Let's create a new one here. Um, I, I hate that. I go and move the mouse as soon as I hit the new button. The new button it gives me uh, free access to the camera. Alright, um, I think with these new rigs I have to start with a floor because they have to have some sort of base on there. Uh, I'm going to go with the concrete just because. I don't know how big these things are either. I think they're like five or something. I like the counter too, so it tells me that's 16. I don't know if I can go any further here. I think that might be the limit to the whole blueprint. Anyway, uh, mining. So we're gonna take this guy here. And... Let's see if I can get three of them on here. I might be able to. And I do believe I have to have some sort of floor. Oh, it's not going to work. Hmm. 
Hmm. How long are we going to be able to fit four in here? Well, I guess we have to build this in the real world then. All right, so. Might as well use this platform right here. Just trim this, trim a little section off of it. Oh. We're going to have to modify this. For some reason, it has to have at least tiles in the corners. No, I did not intentionally plan that. All right, so uh, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have conveyors all hooked up, but I also have to get power in there as well. Hmm. Let me let me work something out here and see what I come up with. Okay, so here's what I got. It's just gonna be basic like this. Now, uh, what I what I'm planning on doing is I want to actually be able to drop as many of these as I can on the planetoid and have them all feed into one container so I can go and just pick it up, pick all that stuff up when it's done. Uh, unfortunately, these do actually require eight power each, so I'm thinking it might be time to actually get into the nuclear power. I do have uranium research, so just got to do the nuclear energy. And somewhere, let's uh, go ahead, what is this name? X something, so let's put the marker on that, find out where it is. And we're actually going to take this thing down there and check it out. Uh, right, so it's over there. Okay. Hop in the ship. Actually, nope. Let's get out of here. We need a blueprint, don't we? So I'm going to try this um, blueprinting block again. Um, nope, that's not it. There we go. Box selection tool. So now I believe, yes, just click and drag, do that, go up, and in this case I do want to keep the floor, because we're going to be using the floor. Oh, I think I should go down one more, because I don't think it's actually taking the floor. Alright, now I go in here, and a box select. I'm going to open up the blueprint, and there we go. That should be it. Now, uh, how do I rename this? Actually, I can rename this in the blueprint menu now. All right. So it's down here. Yeah, I'll rename this. Uh, large drills. Did I spell that right? There we go. Now it is going to use, use a lot of power. Um, why am I not getting there? We go. Okay, and there we go. Just like that. That's why I can't get rid of the other ones over here because I'd have to remove the smelter to do it. All right, so now let's, uh, let's pick up some carbon. I'm going to need some fuel to get this thing going. At first, I have carbon over here. Take half a stack with me. And off we go. Yes, I know the ship, the landing gear is a little bit loud. I have thought about taking the landing gear off since I don't technically need it. But anyway. X Terabris. Almost wonder if these names are randomly generated. Or if they have like a database of all these names that they had. It would be nice if they had a distance marker on the uh, waypoints. Oh, we have something else here too. Let's go have a look over here. Looks like there might be carbon. Uh, it's iron. Okay, let's see what we can find for uranium here. That's it. Just those two. Well, that's kind of disappointing. Hardwood. Okay, now let's see. I got the grid up, so this helps me a little bit. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted either. 
Hmm. See how this works. See how it fits. Uh, large drills. Of course, placing them is going to be a pain because all the trees are in the way. Alright, I got a deforest. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got it in place. I was trying to try to get it, another one in here because... Oops, that's the wrong button. I was uh, going to bring something else up. But the placement of everything, uh, this one is going to get this one here, but it's not going to be able to reach the other two. So I tried to put another one in here. And I was able to get this chunk in here, and then I realized conveyors are going underground and over to here. So I placed another one, and then uh, it just wasn't actually going to reach this one. Uh, let me make sure I get the right button. This chunk right over here. So I was trying to get rid of it, and then I go and build the building, the building, or the box selection tool. Go and place that, and then I select the box, and I'm deleting it. It's telling, telling me that I don't have the, re the technolo technology research. And then after about two minutes or so, I realized the reason why I wasn't able to do it is because I didn't actually select the things in the box. So that's something to get used to. Anyway, uh, this is ready to go here. Uh, it's a bit overkill for that one chunk, but whatever. It's here. Uh, oh, yeah. I need fuel. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and split this boat a third of the way. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Split that, take that out. And there. Oh, yeah, split and in you go. And you guys will do your thing. Uh, oh, that's nice. Dirt comes out in little pails. Alright, I got about a container here somewhere. Uh, uh, utilities, yes. Nope. Dice. Alright, let me put it right on the end there. Of course not. Uh, Alright, let's uh, do this. You can stop making fun noises at me. Okay. There we go. That's gonna go. There's dirt, there's quartz, and no uranium yet, but. There is going to be a good chunk coming out. Uh, seems to hold up pretty good. It, I think the reactor gives 50 power per uranium. Or uh, 50, 50 power. And one rod lasts a little while. Uh, I have checked on my plates. Uh, after about a couple of minutes, I had like 300. And it looks like... Looks like we're done. So we might be able to get some off-site off mining done. Uh, like I said, I do got a... Fine... Oh, actually... That's what I do is I think I need beams for the reactor. Let's actually check that right now. That just means more aluminum, so that means I probably have to start off with aluminum before I start getting anything else. Um, yeah, be out of utilities. Reactor. Oh, yeah. Uh, we gotta go find carbon. A lot of it. Uh, what was that? Carbon and aluminum. Alright, we're gonna have to find carbon and aluminum. So, what I might do. Uh, let's actually see what I got for gold. I my 30 solar pumps. Alright, 30. What is that? Sunflower seeds. Oh, yeah, that's showing me everything. <laughs> like, where did I get that from? And I realized that was a, a resource catalog. It shows you everything there is in the game. Okay, well, I'm going to go hunt down some carbon and aluminum, mainly carbon, and I will be back. So there's one actually close by I forgot about. It does have a fair amount of resources, but I totally forgot about how this was laid out. Like, what do you do with that? So I was basically thinking about having a whole bunch of miners on the top and just start cutting it from the top down. Yeah, there's a big chunk of carbon in here, but not enough. But anyways, back to the hunt. Okay, so I'm at a little place called Codelia. Uh, we're a little ways away from the station, but uh, this one's actually not bad. There's about 22,000 carbon on this one. Uh, a couple of nice deposits. Uh, there's one over here for about 5,000. With, what was it, another one attached to it, or is that just one big one there? But there's also this big one right here, almost 8,000, it's really close to the surface. So I might actually be able to utilize uh, this mining rig for it. 
I might be able to get two of them in and have them sort of feeding back and forth. I just have to clear out the rocks and the trees and get at her. So let me do this and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm finally done. So what I decided to do is I decided to get as much of this big these two deposits as I, as I can. I probably could have done this over a little bit more, but I didn't. And then I go over here and I think I got a good chunk of that one in here. Try to focus on this end here. Uh, I do have all the conveyors um, joined up, connected to this one box here. Uh, this is just temporary oxygen supply. But I'm thinking about power, and I might actually go solar panel on this if I open up the right menu. Because I have a 188 uh, golden wire. So that should give me, I believe, 62 solar panels. If that's the case, uh. It should be close to running full efficiency because uh, each one uses eight, so it's gonna be nice. Uh, 72 each, or 72 total. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and just start placing solar panels everywhere. I don't know if these things actually ma matter which way they're facing, but can I actually put them right on the line? No, I can't, that kinda sucks. All right, well, I'm just gonna build a little platform then. It would take that. Uh, Let's actually put this somewhere just because why not let's extend it right off the side of this thing here like so let's grab some wire that's not a wire do it like that and yeah, just a couple couple rows of wires a couple rows of solar panels you know usual stuff and that should be enough I don't even have enough for that. I can make 60. One, two. All right, let's see what we're doing here. 86%. That's not bad. Except for the fact that I forgot to hook up this conveyor. Hmm. Sure, we'll put it right in here like so. All right, so they're gonna do their thing and get a whole bunch of carbon, hopefully. Make sure this one is doing its thing too. Uh, I do have to up update the blueprint question. I might actually leave that floor in there. That'll make it easier for things to go through. Uh, I'm always forgetting to turn things. There we go. Remember kids, always check your conveyors. Alright. I love how the dirt just goes sideways like that. I better upgrade this. This is this is one of the things I like about this game is uh, the whole upgrading in place. Oh, I don't have iron bars. Is that what I'm missing? Or can I just not do it while it's being used? Let's rotate this. Stop that and see if I can actually upgrade these. Hold on, hold on. I need those gears or whatever they are. All right. Continue on. All right, well, I'll have to do that. So this is doing its thing. It's gonna take a little while to clear it out. You gotta fix that problem over there. Major backlog. Now that I think about it, maybe I'll put a warehouse here instead. Get rid of that, and uh, right there, device. Put a big old warehouse here, and then we can do uh, that, like so, and just rotate you, and you can go in like so. That should ease some of the log backlog. In fact, if I do the same here too. Get this one going up. And of course I went in the wrong spot. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Carbon is flowing in. Same with dirt. Oh, that's a lot of carbon flow coming in. Awesome. Alright, well, I'm going to head back to the station there and I'll meet you when I get there. 
All right, I thought we'd stop at X10 Rest here and see how we're doing for Uranium. The drill is actually stopped, so that's good. And a thousand. Ooh, that's actually coming handy. Uh, I don't think there's anything actually left in here, is there? Uh, there's another vein. Not too much. This will keep us going for now. I might move this later. Well, it would be nice if you could actually pick up, like actually select the whole thing, pick up what you have here and place it. Well, I guess you can with the blueprint, but... Eh, too much work. Anyway, so we have uranium. So now we head back to the station. We should be that far away. I can actually see the, the asteroid beams. The spotlights off in space. I would turn the waypoint off so I could actually see it, but then I'd get lost. So typical. And we shouldn't be too long. Just passing Bald Miko. Oh yeah, we gotta find more aluminum too. Yeah, I should need a lot of aluminum. Just for the sake of... Reactors. And we need it for research too. Because we need aluminum bars to make this uh, space science. Uh oh. I don't know how many times I've done that. Oh, look at that. I had more aluminum plates sitting in there. Yeah, like I said, always they always check your conveyors. Okay, so what am I doing here? Uh, what I'm doing, actually, is I want to get this iron, this, um... Uh, uranium smelted. Alright, uh, I have four smelters, so I'm actually gonna... I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's put them in here. This is sort of like my uh, Jack Hall Trades kind of deal. I also need to get some more, uh, get some more iron rods going. Uh, it wasn't iron rods I actually needed, but uh, yeah. So that oh, that's gonna be doing its thing. Uh, I actually needed what was that other thing I needed? Gears, yes. And I need steel screws, so I gotta get... We have a supply of carbon going, so we can start getting these mass-produced. Uh, what do I actually... Well, they're going through right now. Uh, do I have any carbon laying around in any of these machines? No. No. How are we doing over here? Not as good as I thought, to be honest. Anyway, uh, oh, no, I don't want to take half of it out, or all of it out, I just want to take half. Uh, let me sort, let me split all this stuff in half so I can get some more bars going and I'll be right back. Okay, well, I think it's probably going to call this one here. Um, I didn't realize, well, I thought they were actually going. I didn't realize that um, in order to make the reactor, that I need titanium, because that's actually what it is needed for those beams. I need titanium. Now, for some reason, I have two two beams here. I don't know where I got the titanium from. I didn't even know I had any titanium. But I do have two beams. But uh, we'll definitely have to find some titanium somewhere. I have no idea where I'm going to be able to find it. Uh, let's go home here. See if anything close by has it. Nothing up there. Uh, there's a little bit up there. I don't know if we actually need a whole lot of it. Uh, let's actually find out. Okay, titanium, what do we need this for? Used for just that. And it creates these things. Work in progress. So I have no idea what they're for. Uh, so I don't think we'll need too much titanium. I might have to just go do manual mining for it. Uh, I was looking at these, at the, the, ge the gears, and yes, I definitely need to want to start getting these mass produced because I need them for the conveyors. So we'll get that going. Um, other than that, it's just really the carbon and maybe we'll get some more research going. I have looked at the research tree, what do we need? Uh, we will get into computers, we'll have to do that eventually. Uh, decal, I think that's just signs. Uh, navigation, we'll need eventually. Uh, if we ever want to move the station around, which I think we'll have to. Because I'm going to deplete any planetoids that are nearby. 
awfully quick. Uh, agriculture, we're stuck until I start getting carbon fiber pretty being produced. I did throw uh, about a thousand in the constructor I have down here, and it's going to make about a hundred, a uh, hundred out of the carbon fiber. Now, the problem with the carbon fiber is for the research, I need four and eight oxygen for the biology research. So that's going to be a little expensive. Now what am I missing in here? Just missing computers for the space stuff. So let's go ahead and grab the computers, which are all the way down here. Okay, and get those those guys doing that. Uh, other than that, I think that's about all we're going to get. I don't really need a stone block. Uh, meal preparation I definitely want to get into so I get into some farming but like I said we're being held up with that other than that uh, we're waiting on carbon so I think we're gonna call this one here uh, didn't do too much I managed to get my first little machine set up as far as what I'm doing here I'm thinking I'm just gonna go a similar idea like this but large scale like I said mass produce everything I want to go somewhere and pick up like 10,000 iron, drop it into a container and have it all melt, melt uh, smelted and processed and done whatever it needs to be done to it in a matter of a few minutes if I can. Same with the copper, like you make the wires and the plates and all that stuff. And if I can get a steady supply of copper go or carbon going, I almost thought about setting up a farm of these things here, just collecting carbon. Just sort of have like a branch coming off the station here where I got 20 or 30 of these going constantly, only going for carbon. Then maybe that's an option, but kind of bulky and you, know, you can only have so many of these things running at once before it starts to get a little annoying. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.